In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this model of a wooden chest, and I'll show you a very quick method of UV mapping an image file to it. Drag to make the properties window wider, and click the object button. Set the X scale to 2. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view, and zoom in with the mouse wheel. Go into edit mode, and into face select mode. Select the top face and press S to scale followed by 1.1 and enter. Press X to delete, click only faces. Go into object mode. Give the chest a meaningful name. Add mesh plane and name the plane lid. Set the Z location to 1 and the X scale to 2. Press S to scale 1.1 and enter. In the outliner window, click the eye icon to hide the chest. Go into edit mode and into edge select mode. Select the edge on the left, hold down shift, select the edge on the right. Click subdivide once, twice, three times. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. Select the middle edge and enable proportional editing. Set the fall off to sphere and press G to grab followed by Z for the Z direction and move the edge up. Use the mouse wheel to adjust the region of proportional editing. I'm going to press 1 and enter. Go into Vertex Select mode, select a bottom vertex, hold down Shift and select the other bottom vertex, Mesh, Edges, Make Edge Stroke Face, notice shortcut key is F. I want to select a ring of vertices, so I'm going to hold down the Alt key and click on an edge in between two of the vertices. Press F to make face, drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. Select a vertex, hold down shift, select the other vertex, press F. Hold down the Alt key and select an edge and press F. I want to slope the sides of the lid. To do that, I need to rotate the end face about the bottom edge. To do that, go into edge select mode, select the bottom edge. In the mesh menu, snap cursor to select it and change the pivot point to the 3D cursor. Go into face select mode, select the end face, press R to rotate, Y for the Y axis and rotate that, 10 and enter. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. Go into edge select mode, select the bottom edge, mesh, snap, cursor to select it. Go into face select mode, Select the end face, press R to rotate, Y for the Y axis, and minus 10, and enter. I'm happy with the shape of the lid, but it is a thin model. The walls have no thickness. I'm going to use Solidify to give the walls thickness. Before you use Solidify, you must apply any scale. Go into Object Mode, Object, Apply, Scale. Go back into Edit Mode. Press A on the keyboard twice to select all, Mesh, Faces, Solidify, and set the thickness to 0.2. We have a small problem with the base of the lid not being flat. To fix the problem, go into Edge Select mode, hold down the Alt key and select the inside ring of edges. Change the view from perspective to orthogonal, Change the view to the front view. Disable proportional editing and switch limit selection to visible off. Zoom in with the mouse wheel and use the tip of the blue arrow to flatten the base. We have to repeat the process for the base of the chest. Go into object mode. In the outliner window, hide the lid and unhide the chest. Select the chest. In the object menu, apply scale. Go into edit mode. Press A to select all. Mesh, 
faces solidify. I'm dragging with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. Hold down the Alt key and select the loop of inside edges. Change the view to the front view. And use the tip of the blue arrow to flatten the top of the base. To set up the material for the chest, I'm dragging on the white diagonal lines to open up a new window. And I'm going to make the new window a UV image editor window. I'm dragging to make the properties window wider and I'm going to click the material button. Now we have a default material set up for the blender render. I'm going to use the cycles render and to convert the material click use nodes. Click the dot at the end of the color box and select image texture. Click the open image button. I'm going to use an image of wooden floorboards. I'll put a link to where I got the image from in the description of the video. In the 3D window, press A twice to select all faces. Click the Browse Image button and select the floorboards image and zoom back with the mouse wheel. Mesh, UV Unwrap, Smart UV Project and click OK. Change the shading to Material. And with the cursor in the image editing window, press A to select all, R to rotate, 90 and enter. Press S to scale and make the mapping about the same width as the image. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view to have a look at the mapping. And move or scale as necessary, G to grab, Y for the Y direction. Give the material a meaningful name and assign the faces to the material. In the image menu, pack the image file into the blend file. Go into object mode, hide the chest and unhide the lid. Select the lid, click the browse material button and select the wood material. Go into edit mode, press A on the keyboard twice to select all. Mesh, UV Unwrap, Smart UV Project and click OK. With the cursor in the image editing window, press A to select all, R to rotate, 90 and enter. Press S to scale and make the mapping roughly the same width as the image. Press G to grab, Y for the Y direction and move the mapping until the joins in the floorboard roughly match the joins in the model. Assign the faces to the material. Drag on the white diagonal lines to close the image editing window. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view and select the back edge. Mesh, snap, cursor to selected. Now we can rotate about the edge. Go into object mode. Click the object button and set the parent of the lid to the chest. And hide the chest. Press R to rotate, followed by X for the X axis, and rotate the lid, enter a value minus 135 and enter. Because the chest is the parent of the lid, I can move the chest and the lid will follow. But don't forget that the pivot point is set to the 3D cursor. So to close the lid, the cursor must be on the edge that joins the two. Select the lid, press R to rotate, X for the X axis, 1, 3, 5 and enter. If you want to append the lid and the base into a different blender file, create a group. Hold down Shift and select the base. Object, Group, Create New Group and call the new group chest. I'm going to end the tutorial there. I'll put the finished file for you to download and look at at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.